Hey guys, welcome to Lenzo Adventures. So, we're back here for a bit of a mod on the uh, cruiser. I haven't done one in a long time, but um, basically, we've got some cheap eBay lights. So, for $100 lights I got off eBay, and the biggest thing about them is they come in a little box like this. And because right now my lights on the cruiser are like old candles, not very good. So, basically, with these LED lights, things a lot more brighter, you know? So, anyway, so I can do it myself, but basically I was a bit unsure about little things, so I got my portable mini mechanic, uh, Tim. So Tim, jump in bro. Tim came the whole way from Gold Coast to help us out, and- uh, How we going guys? He's just- you know, uh, Uncle Tim on the scene. I'd never fear, Tim's here. Tim is always here. <laughs> Maybe you should fear. <laughs> All right, so we got these lights here. So, um, basically, they're pretty, pretty neat. For a hundred bucks, you can't get much wrong. Like, they're gonna make- Is it like cost you a hundred dollars? hundred dollars, yeah. Wow. Under, under the lights. They're like at least twelve hundred dollars, Smoker. It's wow. crazy, really? yeah. And I don't know why the difference in because yeah. you can get the same ones for like a sixty series, for an eighty series, and they're all the exact standard lights. And these are four different companies do the exact same light as well. Mm, mm. Isn't That's it cool? So basically, guys, I'm guessing the uh, general gist of it is it's going to go in here, obviously, and replace that. And then we get the little surround bolted in. Yeah. And then this is what they call a little piggyback. So yep. it'd be like, you know, like a little adapter. So it'll go into here. Yep. And then it will sort of reverse or... Bypass it straight in, eh? Yeah, bypass or... Um, they, they, they're they called a cancellation plug, but they're essentially just like a little piggyback plug. So it's like most lights, you know, you sort of get LEDs or whatnot. Full, so so generally, lights. on normal cars, when you sort of plug these in, they just kind of, you know, reverse your sort of wiring. Mm. So otherwise it won't be um, mm. positive or negatively switched, one or the other. Let's get into it. All right, sweet as. So, first up, you're gonna take the grill off. That's gonna be the mission. So, what I'm worried about here is having a few rusty screws. So, we'll see how we go. And the main thing that is so important about this right now is that, sure, we'll try to do our best, but it's not actually my car. <laughs> and yeah, that's what I'm worried about. <laughs> so, all right, so we've got one screw up, we're gonna take this grill off. So let's rip this out, eh? Yep. Sponsored by AEG. No, AEG. <laughs> He's got a lot of them. What do you have of AEG so far, Tim? So I have, actually, quite a combo, actually. A little AG light over there. Light as well. Oh, oh, my little coffee cup. Money to screwdriver for that, actually. All right, Phillips, eh? All right, so these are nearly. There Might we be go. maybe one more. Oh, oh there sweet. we go. Easy. Cruiser, cruiser life, eh? Nice and easy. That is very solid. You can work around it. You don't need to fall off. Oh, I'm pretty well there, anyway. Oh, is there too committed? <sighs> oh, there we go. Problem one. <laughs> <laughs> That's so let's weird. Just, let's so. just work around it, mate. Let's just leave it there. And you got the grill already off. You can. Yeah, look, let's just. Um, you can hang. You can stick it. That's not doing what it's meant to do. The whole. <laughs> The whole wiring for it just splits, so let's just leave that alone. Yeah. Um, we'll just work around that. Yeah, I reckon we can work around <laughs> it. So this is why I'm nervous about doing these kind of jobs on my own, because if I get too far deep in, and then I won't know how to put it back together again. I kind of like this stuff, it's interesting. But no, I've done some pretty big projects myself, so... Yeah, so what are we doing to yours? Yesterday, I just Did went and changed my front diff on my ute, Yeah. and I had it a locker, pre-installed, so next time we see the big girl in action. A couple of rusty screws. A little bit rusty, yeah. Where's so the then there's a little spring on the bottom. Yep, where's your little container? Yep. Pull the little spring. Oh yeah, sweet as. Yep, I'm just gonna disconnect it, and then we can just work on taking it out. Where's your other little screw? This is why working on old utes are good. So this one's a bit tight, it just pulls out. 
Oh, it's yeah, a little yeah, plug. Yeah, pulls out, yeah. This one's a bit tight. You feel like you're going to break it, but you're not. Yeah, normally they have like a little plug on it. Yeah, I'll get it. The other one's easy to pull up. There, there we go. go. There go. So now, yeah. because you don't need this anymore, you can get a hammer. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he would love to do it, but I thought he was actually going to do it. I was in shock. Um, well Alright, guys. So, we've got it all the light here, and we've got this other light. So, <laughs> I'm gonna rip it all apart. Get a bit of WD. Yes, WD. I knew that Tim would have WD. Alrighty. So I don't have very much of this because as I was saying before, the last day I have been pulling my diff apart. And we have to Yeah, so uh what do you reckon Blair? Pretty fun coming over and hanging out at Tim's house or what? Love it. <laughs> and we have to use quite a lot of WD forty. Yeah. Oh. I don't want to destroy all that, I want to keep it, but... So what we do, just give a little tap, because it probably seized up screw. Ah, I see. So what is it, by banging it, so you can put your screw over it? Yep, yeah. there we go. Alright, mate. See, I wouldn't know what to do with this. They strip out otherwise. Yes. Thank God. So man. you just give it a tap, like what I just did. Just and to it. it just kind of, no, so it just kind of like vibrates it. Yeah. And um, yeah, just kind of sit like freeze it up so it's not a seized. Yeah, yeah. This one might be a bit shit, but we'll see how we go. Yep. You're gonna hold that. Well, at least you got um, WD-40 on it. Yeah. Hopefully that helps. And if it is a bit sort of rusted out, it kind of helps. Yeah. Nearly. Oh, that one's stripped out. That one's a bit shit. Because uh, um, I've put these back in. Yeah, we don't have any more screws. Yeah. This is the newest case, isn't it? Well, I could go and this Monday. Oh, dude, this is <sighs> yeah, that one's not coming up. So that one, we're going to have to probably drill out, but that's fine. We'll just drill it out. If you're going to add one more screw later, you can. Yeah. Yep. Hey! And that one's good. That's awesome. So the trick normally works, but the first one was so. just too rusty. Yeah. And the top was already a bit chewed out from some before, so... I wish I gave you little screws with the lights, because, you know. You think they would, hey? Because if it's so versatile, so what do we do, mate? See, it's just fully... Yeah, she's, a bit, out, eh? she's a bit cooked. Well, that's what happens in the back here. My bag of little goodies. So these are the tools and the things. This is this is the back of my setup here. What normally gets me by this and that. And a couple little rattle guns. Yeah, that's what normally kind of gets me through my They've been a big one. With um, screwdrivers, like these are only cheapies. They're only the king set, but what's so cool about them is because they have the bit on the back. So you can smack them a bit. And then also, you can put like a spanner on that as well. So if something yeah, is really tight and you right. dig it in, yes. you can put it that's on. That's a good idea, yeah. Which is really cool. Not everyone knows that. Yeah, well, there you go. I've never known that. It's fully just rounded out, so I'm just gonna smash it and just try to um I'll cut the fingers away. Yeah, and just try to maybe make a new groove. If not, I'm just gonna have to make a big one with a flathead. Hold it still. Yeah. Hold it tight. Okay. Oh. We don't have to undo a screw anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the lights just popped out. That's interesting. Well, that's an easy way of doing it. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> Open doubt, bang it out. Um, I'll get it this now. This is going to be a little shit thing of this. We'll get it, mate. Don't you worry. Uncle Tim's here. Yep, Uncle Tim is here. So, guys, we're going to just see if we Since can... Since we can't undo that screw, we're just going to try to mold it together. I mean, in theory, we really can't, bro. That screw's never coming undone. I'm not really happy with it just yet. Okay, cool, I'll get this one. So, Lindsay, I'll get you to hold that. Yeah. Well, if he did, he could have done it himself. So there we are. Wow, good job, mate. All right, let's uh, let's plug it in and see if it all works. Nah, should be right. That's just for that bulb. That's old school. Yeah. That's the old school. Wouldn't do, mate. Wouldn't do. Yeah, new school. Let's do it. 
screws it. All right, guys, so again, very, very simple. So, we just go in through there, plug that in. Yep. And then, so, we're gonna have to come back and do this another day, because he hasn't done the wiring for it, yep. but one well, of these are the for up. the indicator, and one of them are for the daytime running light, which yep. is this light. Yep. We will get set up, but just not right now, <coughs> because I came over on short notice and he didn't get the right wiring, so we'll get this, we'll get it up, mounted, and that's just pretty simple to go from there. All right, guys, so because we're not going to use these other plugs as of yet, I'm just going to just tape them off a little bit, yep. just so they keep protected and don't get corroded. I mean, look, they're probably fine, but just a good idea to look up. So guys, I'm probably going to have to slightly adjust this here, um, just because, see that light isn't sitting flush? I mean like, it might be a rough view, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so we're going to have yeah. to just spin that a little spin bit. Around. And yeah, we're just going to line up first and go from there. Alright, so we got one in guys, look at this, a couple of scratches on it. Oh, beautiful. A little bit of difference from that to that. Not see, day. I don't know about you guys, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, but I reckon it looks cool having one and, and the old one. I, I keep telling him to sort of leave that, but for some dodgy, reason, for some, dodgy, look. some reason he doesn't want to keep the old one and one new one. All right, guys. So now you got it on there. So we're not actually going to record this other side because obviously you've seen the first one. But and when you see this, it'll be in. All right, guys, so we got both the lights in. As you can see, it looks pretty Yeah, it looks flush. amazing, yeah, it looks, looks mint. I love it, it looks mint. Yeah, really good. And then, uh, so what we did was we did a little bit different here. So as you saw on this side, we had, we bolted it into the surround mm. and then we had to readjust it because the light was on an angle. So we found it's a lot easier, obviously, to um, actually bolt the surround in first. Yep. And then the we'll light. Put it in first. And then so you could have it flush. Yep. But yeah, so, so the so, second one was a lot quicker to put in because we learnt what we did wrong on the first and one. And I got all three bolts out easy. Yeah. All three screws, yeah. sorry. That's one thing I was concerned about was the rusty screws, but I only came across two rusty screws. Yeah. But, did, but a little bit of WD 40. And Not bad for a 40 year old rig. <laughs> Tim's method about banging in the screwdriver. Um, and we're just taking the, the front uh, lights off as well. These big girls. Looks a lot better. Only because that's, I, I did like them, but look, they're a bit old school. I was reckon um, they're old dodgy farm lights. Yeah, old dodgy farm lights. I'm trying to go with a new look. So, you know, this is new technology. I won't really, what I have now, they're pretty much powerful than the spotlights anyway, you know? So anyway, guys, yeah, so thanks. I haven't updated a video for a long time, so this is just a quick little update on what's going on. Um, I wanted Tim to come down. And um, basically, we've got a Christmas trip coming up. We're gonna be just doing some camping up at Karina. Yeah, we're going for um, camp and just show off the rigs. Tim's got some impressive things for his car too, so I'll add that into the video. And uh, Morton Bay Island, January, still our weekend, we're gonna be at Morton Bay Island. So if you're over there, come so high to us, that'd be pretty cool. Oz Day. Oz Day, and it's gonna be epic. Like, we haven't been over there before, and- um, It's the last gonna... island I'm gonna go on my ute. Yeah. And then I've been on all the islands yep. in yep. Southeast Can't wait. Queensland. Three days, we're doing some, Diving and full driving, it's gonna be epic. So yeah, so sorry guys, we've life just happens, you know, it gets busy and you're trying to put money in a car, like I've had to replace a bit of the steering on it, I've got a new air con. It's just build up behind the scenes, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, I've had to do a lot of work on my ute, just threw a locker in the front, put a new clutch in, um and yeah, heaps of different stuff, mm. changed my diff ratios, heaps yep. of stuff. Yep, yep. So I'm keen but to see how it goes. Yeah, money. Unfortunately. That's all it Unfortunately. is. Unfortunately. Alright guys, so give us a like and uh Winslow Adventures out. Subscribe to Timbo's Adventures. Woo.